Hey YouTube, how you guys doing today? Kevin here coming at you with another video. Today we're going to be talking about an oil burner. Yep, an oil burner. Alright, not quite what we do on the show, but we do videos like how to tie ties and stuff like that. So I figured this right here would be a big help for you guys. I know a lot of you guys run out of oil in the middle of the night and, um, well, it's expensive to have the oil guy come to your house and bleed one of these things out. Well, coincidentally, I am an oil guy and I'm going to show you how to do it. Or, ready? you how to do it so what you're going to need to do this okay is real simple just a couple of simple tools nothing dramatic just a couple simple tools a 3 8 wrench an old soda bottle and a little piece of hose sometimes if your furnace is up this high like off the ground you can just use the soda bottle and stick it right on there so let me show you what this is that right there is the bleeder screw right there. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to take your 3 8 wrench, stick it on the on the fitting, which is a bleeder, take your hose, pop your hose on here, and then the other end of the hose into a soda bottle. Now, um, I want to talk to you guys a couple of things first. A lot of you guys run out of fuel in the middle of the night, and... I just want you guys to know that you guys can go to the gas station and get five or ten gallons worth of diesel fuel and put it in your tank. It's the same stuff. A um, couple of things you're going to want to make sure first. If your furnace goes out, you got to make sure a couple things first. On every furnace, you will have one of these red burner switches. It has to be on. There's normally one on the side of the furnace. And one at the top of the stairs or at the entrance of the house. So there's always two of these in the house. And you want to make sure your batteries are good in your um, your thermostat or your thermostat is on. So you want to turn your thermostat all the way up to 80 so it's calling for the burner to kick on. Okay. So right now we have the furnace turned on upstairs. We got it cranked up to 80. We got the burner on. We are ready to believe this thing. So, you'll see the, bu the button up here flashing. Okay, we have not pressed it yet. The burner just went out. We put diesel fuel in the tank. And now, what we're going to do is we're going to bleed it. Tom, can you come over here and give me a hand? I just need you to hold this soda bottle right here. Down a little lower. And we're going to put the... Got my assistance because I don't have my tripod with me. Alright, so we got that in there. So the hose is connected to the bleeder. And into the hose, bleed is cracked loose. I'm going to then push the button once. It's going to turn on, and I'm going to crack the bleeder free. Now you get fresh fuel. When you get fuel, close it. And then you wait. Now you get a flame. It's going to go out in a second, or normally. If there's air in the line. Green light is on. And it's good to go. Now this is not normal to happen right off the bat. But this was already set. Typically you're going to have to do this two or three times. You're going to have to crack open the bleeder or it will go out. This might go out. I don't know. Nope. Looks like it's going to stay on. If it goes out again, you're going to have to then crack open the bleeder and push the button. If you push this button more than three times, more than three times, you're going to have to hold it in for a whole minute. This light will flicker back and forth. It'll turn yellow up here. It'll go back and forth. And then when you take your hand off, it'll reset. And then you'll be able to push it three more times. So it'd be like click, bleed, click, bleed, click bleed and then it will time out real easy so that's your bleeder crack it loose push your button the fuel comes out close the bleeder if you do it three times it will time out when it times out when it times out you can't write down there at all when it times out we'll go ahead. when it times out then you got to hold it in there for um for one minute and these lights right here will flicker back and forth. If you don't have this newer style system and you have the old box, 
you're gonna push the big red button down and it'll be a little black button you're gonna trip that and it'll, you'll hear it click and then you can let off of it and then it'll be all good to go again real simple to do and that is how you bleed a oil burner the other thing you can use diesel fuel in this so say you normally run kerosene in your uh, furnace because it's out you know your tank is outside you can put diesel in it if you have a monitor heater you cannot use diesel fuel you have to use kerosene so once again if you have a monitor heater you have to use kerosene which you can also get at a gas station but if you have regular home heating oil in your tank you can run diesel fuel it'll work just fine so that's pretty much what I had for you guys tonight and uh, just remember check your batteries in your thermostat make sure your switches are all in the up position turn your thermostat all the way up to 80 when you go to burn the, when you go to uh, bleed it out because if you don't the uh, thermostat's going to say the house is too warm it's not going to kick it on and then you'll be over here doing nothing you'll be pushing that and nothing will happen so anyway guys that's what i got for you tonight thank you have a great night and thank you for all your subscriptions and all your support have a good night